One of the hottest new ideas in fashion comes from fungus. Yes, fungus. We're talking about leather that's made from mushrooms. What? This all-natural plant-based alternative has none of the environmental or cruelty concerns that you have with animal skins. Lilia Luciano, one of the best TV names in the business, visited a lab outside San Francisco where this mushroom leather is growing and making an impact on fashion and beyond. Out west, where cattle ranches have long held sway, cowhide leather may be losing its luster. You can't grow a cow to spec. Yeah, cows, cows don't just have do, that cows much Cows just do what they do. Yeah. So that is what was remarkable about a natural material that you can grow to form. But this material is made from mushrooms under the watchful eyes of Bay Area technicians. Definitely feels like leather. Bolt Threads is one company engineering mushroom leather through mycelium the underground network of fibers that is the basis of mushrooms. From Lululemon to Stella McCartney and Adidas, the company is turning heads with what their plant-based leather is capable of. It's a phenomenal material. Everybody loves their leather, whether it's for their clothes or their car. CTO David Breslauer is approaching the issue from a scientist's perspective. He says leather is a huge industry to take on. But the fashion world has always embraced innovation, especially the kind that helps fight climate change. The fewer cows we grow industrially, the less, the less emissions we're going to have. So this is a huge impact to climate change. And for almost all major fashion brands, their biggest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions are from the, from the cows that make their leather. And then there's deforestation. And there's deforestation, biodiversity loss, ecological collapse. It, the list goes on and on. But in order for consumers to adopt mushroom leather, it needs to be durable, workable, and most importantly, look and feel like the real thing. So we're getting really, really close with this material to um, having something completely looking like leather. Beatrice Umbelard is a leather artisan with four decades of experience and says this keeps with the trend of finding plant-based alternatives to what we eat and wear. I believe people are ready for changes, they're ready for innovation. For me, combining all techniques with biomaterials is an incredible opportunity. What's that like for you? This is amazing. It's an incredible feeling. It's combining the two. She works with MycoWorks, another Bay Area company that's got the fashion industry doing double takes. I see this material working everywhere where leather goes. Sophia Wang and her co-founder, Phil Ross, have been pushing the boundaries of leather since 2003. Their proprietary reishi leather appears close to the real thing. What kind of testing are you guys doing to make sure that it is durable? We do, do accelerated wear testing, exposing reishi to the elements just to demonstrate that this material is competitive to leather in terms of durability and strength and resistance. Their product finds purpose, from potentially life-saving sheets interwoven with bulletproof Kevlar to incorporating conductive wiring in the fibers, allowing for smart fashion that connects to your devices. And even leather enmeshed with gold thread for, well, you know. One of those $100,000 designer bags they, they yes. need to justify. <laughs> Redefining luxury. We work with our partners to actually grow our materials to those customized needs, which is not something you can do with any other natural material. She says that if you can think of a luxury brand, they've probably worked with them, like Hermes, the high priest of French leather products. The company worked with the storied brand on an iconic bag in 2021. It all points to a future where guilt-free fashion could be the norm. And instead of traditional leather on our back or in our hand, we'll be making room for mushrooms. For CBS Mornings, Lilia Luciano, Berkeley, California. I like the way they're thinking. I'm all for it. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. And if your plane goes down in a remote location, you know, you could always eat your leather shoe. <laughs> Is that where your mind went? I just, I, you know, I eat a lot of mushrooms. A little rosemary, olive oil, 40 minutes in the too. oven, 400 no, degrees. But it doesn't have a bad smell. No, it doesn't. If you can do this and not hurt and this, animals, if this, this saves good. the animals, exactly it is worth right. it. And if you lose a bet, you can eat your shoe. There you go. <laughs>
Thanks, Obi. What's happening at Tony's? We'll be right back. I don't know what I he's doing. I think a lot of bad bets. I don't know. They're eating shoes and mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you in a bit.